let us begin ionic bonding in this section. Before starting this chapter, let us know what topics or what part has to be dealt in ionic bonding. So, firstly we shall be starting the topic with the definition part, then we shall be moving to the condition part means in what condition there can be ionic bond between two species. Then we shall be observing the mechanism of ionic bonding that is what are the steps involved during ionic bond formation between the species. So, these are the three basic things which we have to start in the ionic bonding. So, we shall be starting with the definition of ionic bonding. So, in the definition part remember that whenever two atoms undergo loss and gain of electrons during bonding then that will be called as ionic bonding. So, whenever an ionic bond is formed between two atoms we observe that electrons are completely transferred from one atom to other. Let us take a example of sodium and chlorine. Here student remember that the logical approach towards bonding is to increase the stability which can be increased either by decrease of the energy or by attaining the inert gas configuration that is NS2 NP6. So, basically energy is one of the factor, but the energy criteria is totally illustrated with the help of the octet concept that is NS2 NP6 configuration that whenever an atom during bonding possesses or attains NS2 NP6 configuration that is inert gas configuration its energy becomes smaller or its energy is lowered and stability is increased. So, basically during bonding we are supposed to observe that after bonding whether an atom is attaining inert gas configuration or not. Now, let us start with the sodium here it has got 11 as the atomic number where Cl has got 17 as its atomic number. Now, if we observe the electronic configuration of sodium it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1 while for chlorine it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. So, for sodium we have got 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 while for chlorine we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5. Now, let us look on the valence shell that is the outer shell electronic configuration of both these atoms that is sodium and chlorine. In sodium the nth shell that is the valence shell is the third shell which has got a configuration ns1. Here we are calling n as the valence or the outer shell. Similarly, moving ahead to chlorine its valence shell has 3s2, 3p5 that is NS2 NP5 configuration. But if we remember in the last section we had been telling that every atom during bonding tries to attain NS2 NP6 configuration that is inert gas configuration to attain stability. Now, observing these two configuration that is of sodium and chlorine these two are not resembling to NS2 NP6 configuration. Hence, what we further observe that sodium atom undergo the loss of one electron. Here I am writing minus one electron means one electron is being removed from the valence shell of sodium atom. Now, its configuration nu will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 while for chlorine it will be now we have to add one electron to it which will be transferred from sodium atom to chlorine and the new configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. So, after the loss of one electron from sodium and gain of one electron by chlorine atom the new valence shell configuration is 2s2, 2p6 which is now resembling to ns2, np6 configuration. In the same way in chlorine also after the gain of one electron from sodium atom its new configuration is 3s2, 3p6 which is resembling to ns2, np6. Hence in both the cases after the loss of one electron from sodium atom its configuration is resembling to the inert gas configuration that is ns2, np6 and also after the gain of one electron by chlorine atom its new configuration is 3s2, 3p6 which is resembling to ns2, np6 configuration. 
so basically this is the process which is observed in case of ionic bonding now student the question is are we observing that here during the bonding between na and cl there is complete transfer of electron from sodium atom to chlorine atom and as already defined that during ionic bonding electrons are completely transferred from one atom to the other and the same situation we are observing here that sodium is undergoing the loss of one electron for attaining NH2NP6 configuration while chlorine is undergoing the gain of one electron to attain NH2NP6 configuration. So this is what happens in case of ionic bonding. So to define an ionic bond we should remember that in ionic bonding electrons are completely transferred from one atom to other.